my name is bintu harwani and in this android lecture we will learn how to display a user's location on the google map we won't be tracking the user we will just learn how to enable the my location layer what happens is that when you enable the my location layer on the google map on the top right corner you get a button the moment you click on that button the location of the user will come at the center of the google map it's a very simple app let's start with it so in this lecture we will learn how to display the user's location that is the location of the device remember that we are not going to track the user we will just enable my location layer of the google map now what is the my location layer it is the layer on google map which shows a button at the top right corner the moment you click on that button the location of the device the location of the user will come at the center of the google map this is all we are going to do okay so let's start with it we'll open the android studio and we'll open the same file that we created in the last lecture that is in the 13th lecture recall that in that lecture what we've learned we've learned to display google map how to change the color of the marker how to change the picture of the marker and to set the zoom level that is what we've done this is the file that we created in the last lecture if you haven't seen my 13th lecture please follow the link uh, mentioned in the description box and please have a look at that video you will understand this lecture very well this is the code for enabling the my location layer of the google map first of all we'll define one class variable it can be anything any constant and we are defining it one i will define a function by name get location access you can give any name to this function but remember that whatever the name of the function is you have to call it by the same name from the on map ready function right on map ready is the function which is automatically called when the map is loaded on your emulator or, or when the map is activated on your device see in this function you are defining an if condition which is checking whether the device access facility is given whether the device access permission is given by the user or not if the user has given the device access permission that is the location right you are setting the is my location enabled property to true this is a property is my location enabled property which will enable the my location layer of the google map right so when you make it true that my location layer will be enabled on the map but if the user haven't yet given you the permission to access its device so what you do from this else statement you are requesting the user you will display a dialog box to the user asking to enable the device access location right and whatever the user selects whether the user denies to access the location or whether the user allows you to access the device location in both the cases this on request permission result method will be executed now what you are doing here this on request permission result has three parameters request code permissions array and the grant result array right so if the user allows you to access its device location this grant result array will have the permission granted also the request code this parameter will have the value 1 and this is the constant that you define it at the top this is your class variable right see when the user allows you to access its device location this request code will become true and this grant result array will get the permission granted so you are checking if the request code is equal to 1 that is equal to this class variable and if the grant result contain permission granted so if both the conditions are true you are making the my location layer of the google map you are enabling the my location layer of the google map and if the user has denied you the permission what you'll do you are invoking finish method to close this activity to close this app and you will display a toast message to the user that user has not granted local access permission so the app will terminate and you will exit so this is all we will do so what we'll do first of all we'll copy this class variable and we'll paste it at the top here because i'm using map in my code i'll make it map i'll re remove this upper case m and i'll comment out this area which i don't require to zoom and change the color and pick up this thing right and i'll copy this code from here 
till here. Copy this invoking of the function from the it is giving you an error on this toast method and this package manager because you have not yet included the library for that it is also giving you error on this context compact let me enhance it can you see it so on hovering onto it you will get this thing it is asking you to import something you click on import this has become black that means this error is gone the library is imported and i am sure the library will be you can see the library from here library is imported and again it is giving you error on activity compact so again on hovering it see it must show you this import here click here it's gone and it was giving you an error on toast also let me reduce it package manage also click here and click on import this error is gone toast is also import gone now my app is ready to run to display by google map with a button at the top right corner right so at the moment i am running it on the emulator pixel 2 apr view my previous lectures to see how the avd that is the android virtual device is created it is asking me whether this app let me enhance it whether this uh, app that is this information display app is allowed to access the device location if i say deny so the app will terminate showing me this message the user has not granted the location access message now if i run this app again i'll run it again i'll terminate this and i'll run it again remember that your laptop should be connected to the internet so my computer is online and my app is running now see this is a message that you get do you want this app to access the device location if i select only this time see what happens see you get google map on the screen and this is the button that i was talking about on clicking this button my device my device location will appear at the center of the map so i'll click on this button it won't show my location it will show the location which is stored into this emulator and obviously the location that is stored in as a default on this emulator is the google's location location where the google office is let it load properly it is not showing my location it is showing the location which is stored as the default location into this emulator and which is nothing but the google's office address and here if i zoom it see see google plaques and uh, some road is there charleston campus here see the location of google's office has appeared at the center of the screen no i'll do what i'll run um, this app on my device this is my android phone and i'll connect it to my laptop i'll terminate this app right see my device name has appeared this is my emulator name and this is my xiaomi redmi phone right i'll click it here i'll run it here to see what is happening on my phone i'll do what i'll open this lock cat and i'll select my phone here can you see it here this is the screen capture icon this was the message that was appearing on my phone do you want to install it i've selected yes and on my lock cat this screen capture button see i'll recapture it it is asking me this message allow information display app to access the device location if i deny it it will terminate the app and will display a toast message i have selected allow right so i'll recapture it again my phone should be connected to net the data should be on because basically the map appears from the net it accesses the location from the net now the moment i click on this button it will show me my location my location will appear on the center of the screen i am selecting it i am again recapturing it if i am stationary my location will appear as a dot 
and if i'm moving it will appear as a chevron it will appear with a arrow right so it is accessing my location it will appear as a dot right so again i repeat if i am moving it will show me a chevron a sort of an arrow pointing to the location where i am moving to which direction i am moving right it depends upon your internet speed also i am in ajmer and here is my location the app is working perfectly well don't worry about the code at all in the description box you'll find the link for the code you can use that code straight away and if you followed the lecture subscribe to my channel share the video with your friends write your comments thanks for watching the video have a nice day